Hello St. Francis de Sales! Normally, we like to highlight our parishioners, but this time the spotlight is on the pastoral team. Since our usual avenues of communication aren't accessible, we want to let you know what we're up to during this time that our beloved church is closed. As the head of our digital ministry, you won't be surprised to learn that I've been working six to seven days a week since this all started, behind the scenes, to make sure that we're posting the most recent information, event details, and links online for you. We were quickly able to pivot from in-person to virtual events, and we currently are hosting not only regular Zoom meetings for the majority of our ministries, but also live streams of Father Tony and Father Phil's virtual weekend masses, Sunday hospitality and a hymn sing, our Wednesday prayer service with Jane, promoting the great online talks that Commonweal Magazine is putting on, and producing videos such as this one to keep you connected with what's happening as we live through this isolation. I'm also focusing a lot of my energy on community outreach. I'm speaking with contacts at our various community partners on a daily basis, which by the way, number upwards of 60 different groups were connected to. What a beautiful example of our parish's commitment to what goes on outside our doors. Everything I learn and that you're sharing with the pastoral team is listed on our community resources webpage. Something else I'm really proud to let you know about is the work of our social justice ministry during this time. They've recently donated $500 to the Little Sisters of the Assumption Food Pantry on 115th Street and $1,000 to Ignacio House in the Bronx, part of the Thrive for Life prison project. This money came from grants they received from Catholic Charities. I've spent a lot of time connecting with our Spanish-speaking parishioners and neighbors. I'm in regular contact with our Grupo Hispano, and through my involvement with the Cabrini Coalition, the local immigrant outreach group that St. Francis is a part of, I've spoken with dozens of people who've lost their jobs or become sick and are in need of help. We're actively brainstorming and making plans to help in whatever way makes sense. If you want to be a part of this planning, reach out and get involved by sending me an email at lydia at sfdsnyc.org. Finally, this time has afforded us the opportunity to organize the new online church management system that we implemented at the end of February. It's been a crucial tool for us to mobilize our outreach during this time, and we'll continue to organize this. By the way, now is a great time to register as a parishioner if you haven't already done so at our webpage, www.sfdsnyc.org backslash register, and to sign up for regular online giving if you're able to at www.sfdsnyc.org backslash give to continue to support our mission to live Jesus on 96th Street, where the Upper East Side meets East Harlem. I miss you all very much, and I cannot wait to see you in person. Hey, St. Francis, Jane here, wanting to chat with you a bit about what has really been something like the weirdest snow day ever, right? It's been more than a month since we were all sent home, and I wanted to touch base with you about how I've been staying busy and connected to our parish. I wish I could say that I've been praying and exercising more, but as always, I feel like it's never enough. Maybe if I baked less, I'd have more time to exercise, but I have enjoyed cooking some healthy dinners. Like many of you, Zoom has become my go-to tool for communication. As of this week, St. Francis is holding Zoom meetings with our initiation folks, our confirmation students, our Hispanic community, our parents, and our young adults. We do hospitality after mass on Sundays via Zoom too. And it's a great chance for all of us to see each other's faces and hear our voices. All the info you need for joining one of those Zoom meetings is available on our webpage. Some other ways I'm trying to stay present to our parish are through my weekly Wednesday reflections that are now being posted online. I've created a place too where I can visit with our young families via story time. This gives me a chance to talk directly to our littlest parishioners for a few minutes each week. 
I continue to participate both in archdiocesan and national professional gatherings to stay on top of best practices for our parishes during this crisis. Every morning, I send emails with my coffee to as many folks as I can think of to check in and see how you're doing. If you haven't heard from me yet, it's really most likely that I just don't have your email accessible to me. I'd love to hear from you to know how and what you're doing while we're away from one another. Finally, I'm thinking a lot about what it's going to be like when we get the all clear sign to come back together. I know how hard we're working now to be parish to one another in the midst of this crisis. On this point, I'm praying deeply as I try to reimagine what will we look like as the parish of St. Francis when we come back together. Will we be the same? How will we be different? How will our ideas of community and hospitality, how will they have evolved? How will we be church in the future? I don't have the answers to these questions, and I'm curious to know what you are thinking about in terms of our life at St. Francis in the future. Please feel free to send me an email at jameporcelli at sfdsnyc.org and let me know how things are for you. I promise I'll get back to you as quickly as I'm able to. Until we are together again, let us, like our patron, St. Francis de Sales, continue to trust that God is with us and will help us to live Jesus on 96th Street and in every part of our world. Thank you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia.